Hi my friends! Thank you so much for coming to see our production of Camelot the other day and I'm so sorry you weren't able to stay for the talk back but I know timing with buses and everything can get a little crazy. Um, my name is Catherine. I am clearly part of the show. This is a costume, uh, not my everyday look. I got a bunch of the questions that you asked and sent over for us to answer and I'm going to be your host here taking you along and asking some of my castmates the questions that you can get the answers that you weren't able to get on Wednesday. One of the first questions that you asked is how do we perform comfortably and confidently on stage with the opposite gender? And my friends Andrew and Sam, who play Lancelot and Guinevere, who are singing right now, um, are going to answer that for you. It's different with every person I've ever worked with. They're all respectful professionals that you trust and get to know in rehearsals, and right. so that's kind of how you build confidence in your scene partner and how you get comfortable with them. Yeah. But I do have to say, when I was like their age, oh. it was... I was fine. not super confident or comfortable. My first kiss was a stage kiss. Wow. Same. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, with practice and you just keep doing it and you get confidence in yourself and that always helps too. Yeah. And you get in the room with new people. I like it. <laughs> Your next question was, how do we learn our lines? And my friend Rusty, who plays Mordred, is going to answer that. I kind of take a different approach than a lot of actors might. A lot of actors focus on memorizing their lines. Um, and I kind of try to stay away from that because to me, memorizing means reciting something back automatically. Like you might memorize things in school, like um, the table of elements or Spanish vocab words or something like that. Um, it's just something that you try and repeat back. Um, but when you're on stage in a scene, you don't want to be just recycling things back like a robot. You want to be pretending you're a different person. Um, your character living through a moment for the very first time, um, even if it's like the millionth time you've done a play. So I do something that you probably all do, which is I do a lot, a lot of homework. And I take my script, which is all of the words that I say written out on paper, and I study it just like you might study some of your subjects. And I go phrase by phrase or word by word, and I try and figure out why those words are important to my character. So it takes a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end, and hopefully I don't forget them when I go on stage. <laughs> Next you ask, what are the stage backdrops made out of? And our friend Victoria, who works backstage, will answer that for you. All right, so the knights and the tree sliders and everything are all made out of, they're a steel frame with Luon and plywood on them, and then we put styrofoam over top and carve it, and then jack sand roofing paint is the gray texture that you're seeing. To make all the little star effects, we have little light fixtures down below, and then these are fiber optics in the back of the walls that we've drilled holes through. It makes the stars! Stars! Yay! Next, my friend Mary Lucy will tell you about what it's like to play the opposite gender on stage, as she is a woman and she plays a man. What is it like to play the opposite of sex? It's very challenging. It's very challenging, but I find it very fun. And I've been lucky enough to do it a number of times. Uh, but just like any character you play, you've got to know who this person is, whether this person is wearing beautiful, long, flowing blonde hair or a mustache, a gray mustache. So the heart of my answer is that it's a challenge, but the second part is it's lots of fun. And your last question was, what was the most fun for you in this production? And I'm gonna ask a couple of friends. We really enjoy playing the nymphs in this Obviously. scene. Obviously. <laughs> because yeah. um, it's not every day you get to like act like a little creature and, and try different physical things and there, it kind of feels freeing like we can do whatever we want because who knows what nymphs act like yeah my favorite part of the show is doing the joust fights because i get to fight with this mace and it's really fun so the most fun i have in the show i love doing the fights but we just did a number called fi on goodness and i do that with the men's company in the show and i really enjoy doing that my favorite part of the show is actually the lusty month of may the the maypole dance that we do because it was really hard to learn and to memorize. When do you ever get to skip around a maypole with ribbons in real life? Like, never, right? So, yeah, I enjoy it. 
so that's all your questions thank you so much again for coming and supporting um the arts and i hope we see you again either this spring or summer um or fall or winter whenever you want to come see us at barter um you're always welcome bye friends